We have all heard of the term biodiversity, but what does it actually mean? Simply stated, biodiversity refers to the variety of life on Earth. At a localized level, like a specific tea garden, for example, this term can be used to refer to all the species the tea garden ecosystem has, encompassing animals, birds, plants, and even microorganisms. So in order to understand biodiversity, we'll also have to understand the concept of natural ecosystems. Now, a natural ecosystem is the community of living and non-living elements of nature that interact with each other without human intervention. So this includes all living as well as non-living components, even soil. So the key point to note here is human intervention. Now let us imagine a natural ecosystem hundreds of years ago. So when tea plantations came up and the process of growing and manufacturing tea commenced, human intervention took place in the pre-existing natural ecosystem. So the natural ecosystem lost its interactive balance. Furthermore, tea is a monocrop and conventional farming utilizes agrochemicals and has introduced human habitation and transport related activities. So all of this has obviously impacted biodiversity that is adversely impacting the long term sustainability of tea production. The trustee program focuses on sustainable practices to bring a balance to introduce a harmonious coexistence between tea production and the surrounding environment and communities. The program mandates implementation of a Biodiversity Action Plan or BAP which is a systematic approach to understand, protect and enhance biodiversity. A BAP involves a five-step approach beginning with a baseline assessment of the three ecosystems, land, aquatic and zoological, followed by a risk analysis. Now once we have done that, we need to set goals to protect, preserve and enhance biodiversity and we do selection implementation measures with timelines as well as a periodic review. The BAP is the cornerstone of trustees approach towards preservation of biodiversity to ensure long term sustainability of tea production. How do we carry out a biodiversity baseline assessment? A baseline assessment basically lists out the biodiversity elements of the three ecosystems, land, aquatic and species. Now land uh, ecosystem include natural, modified, plantation, cropland, fallow land as well as the various species of trees and areas in which we have undertaken afforestation activities. Aquatic ecosystems looks at the natural water bodies within the area. The flowing water bodies and managed aquatic water bodies like fisheries. Species diversity includes identification of the natural uh, species, the managed animal husbandry, the threatened or endangered species of the area, as well as the uh, sighting records and migratory animal behavior. Uh, all of this together is the first step in the biodiversity assessment plan. How do we carry out the risk analysis? The risk analysis should follow the standard risk assessment methodology, identifying the probability of occurrence, severity and likelihood of the risk to the identified biodiversity elements. What are the next steps after risk analysis? Post the risk analysis, the organization should identify its long-term goals. Now, aligned with the long-term goals, year-wise time-bound action plan is to be formulated to ensure protection enhancement and expansion of biodiversity within the area under the scope of the specific BAP. What is the review process for the BAP? The BAP review process is to be carried out with top management at a minimum of once a year. This can also be made a part of the annual trustee program review. Further guidance and a model plan of BAP can be found in the e-learning program of the trustee code version 3 in our website.